Okay, it's a sand hill migration season, so this is a poem called Sand Hill Red. One. You seem to arrive each spring with the cranes, appearing suddenly at the moment that April begins to seem like the longest month at the beginning. My discovery of the migratory patterns of sand hill cranes was coeval with my discovery of women. How strange to spend decades oblivious to patterns of movement, of color, unaware of my own ignorance, blissful discovery, heavy knowledge. Both women and cranes leave. Two. Behind the bar, I refill his glass of sand hill red. He draws a deep draw, turns to the person next to him. We used to be able to hunt the cranes. Deep sip. Then the Nature Conservancy came in and ruined that too. Long pull. Now they just come in and eat all the wheat, bastards. Big gulp. They taste like turkey. Like brisket. Like steak. The ribeye of the fucking sky. Three. We all know how this happened. At the end of the Cretaceous, some 66 million years ago, dinosaurs were rendered extinct. So we learned as children that birds, generic, are descendants of dinosaurs, but I didn't see a sandhill crane until after college. Sandhill cranes have been doing their mating dance for nearly nine million years, three times as long as their nearest bird relative. Small wonder they resemble their reptilian ancestors so much. There are many subspecies of crane. There is one species of human, Homo sapiens. We have been doing our mating dance for only two million years. We have consumed the entire world and still are not satiated. Why do we hurt each other? Four. In the clear hindsight of the Anthropocene, ecologists call what once was the American Serengeti. While fighting to preserve this modern sagebrush sea that I have chosen to love. The cranes have chosen this former abundance, this shadow of the marshes they belong to, which we see no use for. They have yet to turn into oil, so we bully them into farmland instead. And if the birds are lucky, the Nature Conservancy gets a slice where they can safely feed on their long journeys. And yet, the map is not the territory. Territory is a matter of acquaintance, not ownership. In this constant choosing between person or place, the cranes have discovered how to have it all, mating for life and migrating between places. Won't you come home?